Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to cut a little boy's haircut from home all by yourself. This is a really, really popular haircut right now and it is characterized by short and tight sides, a part line, and then longer hair on top swooping over to one side. Today I have my adorable nephew Alexander modeling for me. He did such a good job and he was a really brave little boy. So give him some love in the comments section. Alexander has extremely thick, high density hair that is curly. I know for a fact that this haircut also works extremely well for straight hair or even hair that's a little bit finer. My husband is Chinese, so my son has really dense but extremely straight hair. Like his hair grows out of his head like a little porcupine and I cut his hair in the exact same way and it gives a different effect or a different look because every density of hair or texture of hair, whether it's curly, straight, wavy, is going to look different even if you give it the same haircut, but it still looks really really, really cute on him. So if your son or your nephew or your little brother or anyone has hair that's a different texture from Alexander, you can still follow these steps and you will get a really cute result anyway. Let's get started. In order to make this work, you will need hairdressing scissors, a comb, clippers with attachments, a spray bottle, and a peanut. But this is optional because you can also use your clippers without attachment for the same effect. The first thing that I like to do that is less confusing is section out the top of the hair from the sides of the hair. If you are a beginner, it is important to have control over your section. So this keeps things organized for me. I wet the top of the hair down and then I find his temples. Using the comb, I make a straight line back and then I use a small duckbill clip to get this section out of the way. Look straight at the child to make sure that both those sides are symmetrical and that the lines are straight and even. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with my number four clipper guard. The higher the clipper number, the longer the hair will be. A number four leaves half an inch of hair behind. If you are a beginner, I suggest that you always start a boy's cut, whether it's this cut or another cut, with a number four clipper. It's much less intimidating. You are leaving half an inch of hair, so you have a little bit of wiggle room in case you make some mistakes. Just note that when you are using your clipper, you should be working on dry hair. So that top section of your hair can be wet because we're not gonna be using a clipper on that hair and we want to cut that with scissors wet. But the side sections that you are going to be using a clipper, it should be dry. Alexander's hair here looks a bit damp, but it's not. He was playing a lot with my son and they were running and jumping and chasing each other. So he was sweating a lot throughout the day. So his hair has some residue and that's why it's looking looking damp, but it's actually completely dry. It just has a little bit of oil residue through it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run that clipper through the hair, all the way through the head, on all of the sections that are not separated. So I'm gonna go right to that part line, and I'm gonna make sure that everything is a level four. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to a number three guard. What I am essentially doing here is starting a fade so it's shorter and tighter at the nape and then gets a bit longer as we move up the head. Now here I am using a scooping motion to cut until I reach the occipital bone. On the sides, it's the same thing. Cut until you reach that midline of the head. So what you've ended up with is a section here that's a level four and a section all through here that's a level three. Now if you wanna get even fancier and you're a little more advanced, you can switch over now to a number two guard. I'm just gonna focus this number two right at the base. So the hairline is nice and tight. So what you're gonna end up with is a number two, blending into a number three, blending into a number four. This is like my easy DIY way of getting a fade without being a barber. So you're just basically using the clippers to your advantage to blend everything nicely above the head without ever having to do any fancy scissor over comb work. Now that the sides are done, we can start working on the top. Now what I like to do is start by creating a guide right in the center of the hair. By using my middle and my index finger, I'm going to grab a manageable section and I'm gonna to cut to my desired length. I'm going to scoop a bit more hair from the middle section and cut to that original guide. One word of caution is to go longer 
longer than you think you should because you can always go shorter, but you can't go longer. And this style really is swoopy. So you do need enough hair for it to bend. If you cut it, below that bend line, it's going to stick straight up. It's gonna be like more faux hockey, which is also adorable. But if you want kind of that old school swoopy vibe, you do need to leave the hair at the top longer. So leave it longer than you think. You can always go back after and take it down a little bit more. Now I'm gonna use that middle section as a guide and I'm gonna bring it over to that side section. Look for my guide and cut the hair to match the guide. Do you see that? You can see it really clear clearly in this clip. Alexander parts his hair to the right always, and this haircut is very much a haircut that swoops to one side. So I'm gonna take that other side section, I'm going to move it over to the side where he swoops, and I'm gonna cut it to the guide. This is called over directing the hair, and what that means is that if he parts here, the hair that's here is going to be longer than the hair that's right here. If the hair here and the hair here was the same length, then this would be long and then this would be like here. So you wanna shorten this and you want this to come over more so that you get more of a swoop effect. That's why I'm over directing the hair when I'm cutting it, just so that it ends up being a bit of an angle actually, so that this hair here is a little bit longer so it can swoop and this a little bit shorter so it can sit nicely on the hairline. We are almost done, but now what I like to do is shorten up the crown area a little bit so it blends better. Just be careful here because if you make the crown too short, it will stick up because of the growth pattern. So make sure you're looking at the growth pattern, whether they have a cowlick or a swirl, and adjust the length as needed. Just cut it, lay it down, check what it's doing, and then you can cut a little bit more or just leave it as is. My last step is now to go through the hair this way and cut off that little edge to layer the sides and remove a bit of that density. Alexander clearly has very, very dense, very thick hair. So the individual strands of hair are thick and the density, the amount of hair per square inch of head is high. So he has thick hair and high density. So I need to soften out that line or else it will just be like this big ball right at the top of his head. If you wanna check your work, you can comb it straight back and you will notice that the side with the part line is slightly longer and it angles down into shorter hair, exactly like I mentioned before. And you can clean up that line here while you're checking your work. The last step is to clean up the edges. So you can do this with no guard and your original clippers, but I love using a peanut because it's precise and small and allows for quick refreshing of the edges in between haircuts as well. Now when you're doing this, make sure that you're following that natural hairline and that you are only cleaning up the edges. You're not going too high. Less really is more here, especially as a beginner. So just don't go, don't go too far because it will have a really bad grow out and it could also potentially look really bad in the moment. Finally, because he has such beautiful curls, I just style his hair wet with some curl defining gel followed by some high hold hairspray and then I let it air dry into place. Look at this little cutie patootie. Now this is a step that I cannot stress enough. This is something that you absolutely cannot skip if you are doing a little boy's haircut and that is dabbing at the end. Thank you for watching and thank you to my beautiful nephew, Alex, for being my model today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll see you next week, bye.